it's Tyka's Garage. For some reason, Ty told me to go ahead and- Kaylee, 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 Kaylee! It came in, it came in! T-Rex, short stubby arms. T-Rex hates burpees. Hey burpees, that's what you can do for workout 12. Suck it! I hate burpees. Yee. Welcome back everybody to Tyka's Garage. This is workout number 12. I don't know if you can tell by that small intro or not, but there's no burpees, there's no burpees. There's no burpees in this workout. <clears throat> workout 12, it's called a 20 minute EMOM. Every minute on the minute. Most of the time EMOMs are every one minute on every one minute. In this particular case, we're gonna go every two minutes. And we will show you how to do that on the seconds app that we have seen in previous workouts. Let's go to the seconds app for a second. To set your timer up, you're gonna use the seconds app here. We're gonna do the plus sign to add a new workout. We're gonna use the circuit or Tabata. The number of sets is going to be 10. And then when you click on exercise one, change the duration to two minutes. Hit the back arrow. You'll see that your circuit timer is gonna be for 20 minutes, which is exactly what we want. Hit start, and then whenever you're ready to go, hit the play button. Okay, back to the workout. Every two minutes on the two minute mark by your seconds app that you saw, you're gonna go five jump overs, 10 offset push ups. We'll explain that in just a second. 20 alternating leg lifts, also a new movement. We'll go through that with you as well. Let's get to the movements. Okay, on the jump overs, guys, we've been here before. Uh, you'll notice on this particular set, Kaylee's got these about mid-level. reason that she's got these about mid-level is because you've got 10 rounds of five of these. So you can string them together pretty quick like that. But at 10 rounds of five each, they're going to start sneaking up on you. You have those too high, and you could get yourself into trouble further down the road. Modify them as necessary. If you don't want to jump over the line, just pick a crack and... Uh, carpet in the floor wherever it is that you're set up um, if those five are too easy you think you can get through 50 of those jumps at a higher level move it up keep going push hard okay on the offset push-up Kaylee's got uh, we, we just use one of our kettlebells you can use anything all you're looking for is to prop up one side of the push-up there you go just alternate arms it's called an offset push-up uh, just works a lot more uh, muscles in the core. So the modifications on those offset push-ups are going to be the same as a push-up. Just remember on those push-ups, uh, keep your hands about shoulder width apart, elbows in. And if you want to modify, uh, modify accordingly, it's completely up to you. You can use elevation. Just be careful when you put, you know, your, uh, your prop, whatever it is, as you elevate up, just make sure that it doesn't slide around, make sure it's good and secure. Uh, and you can also do it from your knees is another good option. Alternating leg lifts, another new one. This is gonna be kind of fun. Uh, and there's several different ways to modify it. We'll show you that. But uh, let's jump to the alternating leg lift. All right, alternating leg lift, very simple. On this first round, we just put a piece of tape on the ground. What Kaylee's gonna do, just brace yourself with her hands behind her back and obviously sitting in an L shape and just lift your heels off the ground and tap on each side of whatever obstacle it is that you decide to use. Now, as you start getting higher off the ground, so Kaylee's gonna scoot her butt forward and you start lifting up over, we just use one of our dumbbells, gets a little bit harder. And as that weight gets higher off the ground, if you scoot forward a little bit more and we go to our fancy washer fluid, those get more difficult yet. So uh, modify as you see fit. That is the alternating leg lift. Let's jump to a real quick demonstration of Kayla and I going through these movements for you and what it would look like kind of real time. <laughs> you okay. want to go now? Yes. Want to do the workout? Tell me when. Say, but you got to count down. Three, two, one. I didn't say go. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. So tied to that workout in about 40 
seconds on the first round, again, that was fresh, but keep in mind that the remaining time that you have within that two minute mark is going to be your rest. So it took Ty 40 seconds, he has a minute and 20 seconds to rest after that. As you get tired and slow down on the working part of the workout, you will have less rest time. Right, so what happens is as you start getting a little fatigued and you get into that workout and those workouts start extending out a little bit further and your rest time starts shrinking, that makes your next round that much harder because of less rest. So it starts to kind of compound on you. So be careful and pace these right. Okay guys, that's pretty well it for workout 12. And again, just like a lot of these workouts, it's very simple, it's very fundamental. It's a workout. Uh, so I hope you guys are enjoying it. Subscribe, comment, um, tell us how you're doing guys. We want your feedback. How are these workouts? What are you thinking of them? What do you want more of? What do you want less of? No. Drop down and give me 10 burpees. We always like to hear your comments and your feedback. Uh, that's going to be everything for workout 12 from me and Kaylee. We love you. We thank you for being here. We thank you for watching. We thank you for your support. And we will see you on Monday. Oh, hey, before I forget, Jump rope for single or double unders coming up Monday. As always, from Tyka's garage, from Kaylee and I, right here in our garage. You're, you're awesome. awesome. That was horrible. That's the one of the You're, you're awesome. awesome. Tyka's garage, workout number 12. Thanks for being here. Bye bye, Burpee, for workout 12.